we get started with our physical asana practice, I would like to do a few moments of meditation. Uh, this has been a really heavy week for all over the world, um, for most people. No matter kind of what your experience has been through this movement, um, there's just a lot of new emotions coming up and a lot of conversations that are happening and it can kind of wear us down and exhaust us. Um, but it is super important to me as an instructor to use my platform um, with Black Sheep to hold space for healing and hope and kindness and love. And I know Black Sheep is the same that, you know, we believe that Black Lives Matter. And so I just want to take a moment to sit in silence honoring those who have lost their lives uh, unjustly and just to kind of send out positive vibes for all those who are in healing right now, all those who are fighting for peace and justice and unity, not only in our country, but around the world. So close your eyes. Start to steady your breath. every inhale fill up with all your gratitude for your life and with every exhale send out peace and hope and love for those who are suffering Take a uniting breath in through the nose, filling up the belly, the ribs, the chest. Open mouth, exhale, side out. Gently blink the eyes open and inhale the palms overhead. Gaze up at the thumbs. And exhale, pull the hands down to the heart. Good, about five or six more on your own. Taking it nice and slow as we warm up this morning. Saluting the sun that's peeking through the clouds. Inviting the light into our hearts. And then we'll all meet with our hands at our heart on the next exhale. Gently blink the eyes open, inhale the palms overhead directly above the shoulders this time. Breathe in, lengthen, and as you exhale, drop the right palm and find a side body stretch over to the right. Bend deeply into the right elbow so that you can bend even lower, sending the hips to the left and the shoulders to the right. Gaze up at that top bicep, get long through the left side body. From here, keep your right arm where it is and simply make a couple of circles forward with those left fingertips. Maybe take a little back bend. You can move your right arm to support you as needed. Just taking some circles with the torso and that left arm extended. And then inhale, rise back up to a neutral spine. And then exhale, take it over to the left, left palm down, right arm extended and long overhead. Bend deeply into the left elbow, shift the weight to the left. Again, take a few circles, reaching the fingertips forward, maybe a little back bend with that right arm bringing some mobility into the shoulder and the spine. And then inhale, both palms overhead. Exhale, hands come down to the heart. 
take your palms behind you and interlace them behind your sacrum. Open the heart forward as you tuck the chin towards the chest, getting long through the back of the neck. Slowly start to inch the heel of the palm closer together. So rather than having a really large gap between our hands, you wanna get them nice and tight. It'll help to open up through the shoulder heads and the chest. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head, gaze forward. And exhale, bring the hands to the left hip crease, drop the left ear down to the left shoulder. Opening up the right side of the neck here. Inhale back to center. And exhale, take it over to the other side. Hands come to the right hip crease, drop the right ear down, left side of the neck gets a stretch. Inhale, rise, neutral spine, and exhale, release the grip. Come into diamond pose with the soles of the feet in Baddha Konasana, but scoot them away from the pelvis so you create a diamond shape with the legs. Inhale, the palms overhead, and exhale, reach forward so that your torso drapes over the thighs. Let the head get heavy, round through the spine, and take a few moments here. Kind of like a little turtle shell, just rounding through the spine. Letting the weight of the world roll off of our shoulders here. Relax through the jaw, unfurl the brow. Then bring your left palm to the center of your diamond and inhale, open twist to the right as the right fingertips come up towards the sky. With the inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head, reaching forward, and as you exhale, twist a little deeper, gazing up at the thumb. Five more breaths here. <clears throat> Breathe in. Exhale, release. Bring the right hand to the inside of the legs, and inhale, open twist to the left. Again, lengthen through the crown of the head as you inhale and twist deeper on the exhale as you gaze up towards the left palm. Three more full breaths. One more inhale. And exhale, release the left hand down, slowly rise one vertebrae at a time. Bring your soles of the feet to the earth and just give yourself a little windshield wiper action to kind of awaken the sacrum again. Loosen up the hips. And then we'll take one legged forward fold, Janu Shirshasana. Bring the sole of the left foot to the inside of the right thigh. Turn your shoulders to be square over that right leg. And then inhale the palms up towards the sky. Exhale, reach forward. Grab for whatever is accessible. Maybe it's your foot, your calf, your shin. And then keep the spine nice and long this time. So rather than rounding, we're staying active through the chest, keeping the heart lifted, and the spine is nice and long. Just three breaths here. Inhale, slowly rise, bring the left palm behind you and take a modified kind of rock star here, a little flip dog by coming up on that left shin, lifting the pelvis towards the sky, opening the heart, maybe making some circles with that top right arm, top right shoulder. And then go ahead and bring it down. And then switching out the legs, bringing the left leg long and extended the sole of the right foot comes to the inside of the left thigh. Turn the shoulders, square over that extended leg, and then inhale the palms up. 
Exhale, reach forward, long spine, grab for whatever is accessible. Again, lift the heart, keep the spine nice and long. Here for just three more breaths. Inhale, slowly rise, let the torso come up, plant the right hand behind you, and then modified flip dog with the shin on the earth, lift the pelvis, open the heart. Couple of circles if you'd like with the top arm. And then go ahead and bring it down. Whenever you're ready, you can make your way into a child's pose. Kind of flipping our orientation here from our glutes to our belly facing down. Knees wide, big toes touch, forehead down on the earth. Option to tent the fingertips. So you get a deeper stretch in the shoulders. And then we're going to flow through some cat cow child's pose flows. So from here, you're gonna inhale and rise, coming up onto all fours. Inhale to cow, Drip, dip the belly, spread the glutes wide. Exhale to cat, push the earth away. And then from here, go all the way back down to your child's foot. As you inhale, move through cow all the way so that your gaze is facing forward. As you exhale, round through cat and push back to your child's foot. Good, take a few on your own. Add or subtract anything that you'd like. It's your practice, your body, your Saturday morning. One more round before we all meet in child's pose. Let the hips fall down to the earth, stretch the fingertips forward. And then come to hero's pose, sitting on your heels. Your thighs are touching, knees point forward. Inhale, rise, lift up onto your knees. Salute the sun here. As you exhale, pull the hands down to the heart and sit back on the heels. Take it as slow as you'd like. Do about 10 rounds on your own. Use your breath. Invite a lot of energy into the heart, into the torso. And send out lots and lots of love for yourself and others in these difficult times. Maybe add a back bend on some of these if that speaks to you. And then when you've completed your 10 or so, go ahead and come down to your heels once again. Extend your arms out long in front of you. No rush to get there. When you're ready, come into tabletop with your fingertips facing behind you. So we're gonna open up through the wrists and the forearms. And then just begin to shift your weight forward and back so that you feel a deep sensation in the opening of the forearms. If this is way too much for you, you can always just come sitting on your knees and pull the fingertips back if you have super tight forearms. Take a couple more and then you'll find your way into toe squat as you lean back. So with toe squat, you want to curl all 10 toes under and then come into that hero's pose that we did before, but this time we're sitting on our heels. The toes are rooted into the earth and we're going to start to open up the arches of the feet here. Inhale the palms overhead. Exhale, drop the left arm behind you and see if you can take a bind. 
cow face arms. If that's too much and you can't make the bind, feel free to take your left hand and just grab the right elbow and get that tricep stretch on that right side. The feet are starting to feel a lot of sensation for me. I run a lot, I walk a lot, and we often neglect our feet. They're the foundation of our practice and of everything that we do in our day. So it's good to give them a little love. Wherever you're at with the arms, go ahead and release. Inhaling the palms up towards the sky one more time, and then exhale, drop the right arm and take the bind with the left elbow towards the sky. Just five more breaths here before we release the grip of the feet. Release the arms, inhale the palms up, and exhale, drop the, and plant the palms, then tap the feet on the earth really fast and give them a little massage on the arches. When you're ready, you can tuck the toes under and send your hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. First down dog of the day, so take whatever you need. If you need a shorter stance, if you need to pedal out the feet, if you need to bend the knees. I might need to do all of the above. Activate the hips high towards the sky so much that your arms and your shoulders become a little weightless. The legs are super active and they take any dumping out of the torso. From here, inhale the right heel high towards the sky, and exhale, low lunge, step the right foot between the palms. Drop the left knee down, untuck the left toes, and inhale, rise, Anjaneyasana, crescent lunge. Left hip forward, right hip back, shoulders over the hips, ribs are staying active, not flaring out. Breathe in here. And then exhale, interlace the palms behind your low spine, open the heart. Feel the shoulder blades retract behind you. Take one more inhale. And exhale, slide it back into half splits. Flex the right toes towards the shin. Get long through that right leg. Option to bring your left hand to the outside of that right foot and play with your balance here, extending the right arm towards the sky. As you twist and gaze to the right. One more inhale. Exhale, release the grip. Rebend into that right leg and then make your way to three legged dog. Extend the right leg high. Exhale, downward facing dog, both feet on the earth. And then inhale that left leg high towards the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Step it through. Drop the right knee down, untuck the right toes, inhale, rise, Anjaneyasana. Right hip forward, left hip back. Super strong core, shoulders over the hips, reach up. Few breaths. And then interlace your palms behind you, open the heart here. Inhale, expand through the chest, and exhale, half splits, rock back, straighten that left leg. Flex the left toes towards the shin, 
And then if you added the balance challenge on the other side, go ahead and wrap your right palm around that outer left arch. And then reach the left fingertips towards the sky. Gaze to the left, five breaths. One more inhale. Exhale, release, re-bend that left leg, plant the palms, three-legged dog. Left leg comes high, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Inhale, gaze forward, bend the knees. Exhale, ragdoll pose, step the feet behind the wrists. Let the head get heavy. Shift the weight into the ball down to the feet so the torso drapes over the thighs. And then grab for opposite elbows and sway from side to side. <clears throat> Inhale, lift up halfway, grab for the behind the thighs. So we get this nice flat spine. Let me adjust my computer screen here a little bit. Grab her behind the thighs, get the ski jumper spine. <clears throat> nice and long through the heart. <clears throat> breathe in, breathe out, chair pose. Shift the weight back into the heels, get long through the spine, reach forward. If that's too much in the arms, you can always take a bear hug. Shift the weight so far back, the toes are weightless, almost lifting off the earth. Inhale, birth up to standing, micro back bend, open the heart. And exhale, forward fold. Hands come down to the earth. Inhale, lift up halfway, press the palms into the shins this time. Retract the shoulder blades, tabletop your spine. Gaze is over the bridge of the nose. Glutes sent back, breathe in. And exhale, back to chair. Long spine, fingertips forward. Breathe in and reach, and as you breathe out, chair plane, sweep the fingertips behind you. Again, opening our heart. Option to interlace the fingers behind you. If you're really working into those heart openers like me today, sink a little deeper. Breathe in, and with your bind, breathe out. Hands come overhead, forward fold. <sighs> Take the head left and right, yes and no. Gently release the grip and slowly rise one vertebra at a time all the way to standing. Shrugging the shoulders, the top, and then bringing the hands to the heart. Feel your heartbeat beneath your chest. Allow the thumbs to connect with that vibration for a moment. Take a uniting breath in, Urdhva Hastasana as the palms come overhead. Gaze up at the thumbs and exhale, forward fold, fingertips come down. Inhale, lift up halfway, neutral spine. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank, or downward facing dog. We'll all meet in a downward facing dog. I have snails crawling on my mat. They want to get in on the fun. <laughs> From here, inhale the right leg high, and exhale, low lunge. Step the left foot back, 45 degree angle, inhale, rise, warrior one. Your right knee is bent, your hips are squared, just like we did in our Anjaneyasana. Your feet can be train tracked, or they can be on a tight rope. I personally like to train track with them, so hips width distance my feet, but your choice. And then just bring your hands to your hips for a few moments and just focus on the foundation. 
check in and make sure that your left heel is rooted on the earth. So you're getting that super deep stretch in that Achilles calf area. See if your ribs are flaring out and then see if you can activate the core to keep them tucked. And then from there, inhale the palms overhead. Exhale chair plane or warrior plane, I should call it, with the fingertips back behind you, chest forward. So now with this, we're putting a little more weight into that right leg. We'll start to feel the burn on the right glute and thigh. <coughs> Inhale back to center, palms up. And exhale, interlace the arms behind you. You can see there's a theme going on today. Inhale the chest up, the heart up. Exhale, humble warrior if you choose. Right shoulder comes down to the inside of the right thigh, and then square that left hip forward once again. Five more breaths here. Feel the tremble and the shake and know that the discomfort is change. Take one more inhale with your bind, and as you exhale, release the fingertips, straighten the front leg, and come into pyramid pose. Right hip back, left hip forward. Fingertips are down on the earth. Your legs are straight, creating this pyramid triangle shape beneath you. And then see if you can let the head come down closer to the knee. Keeping a micro bend in your front knee, inhale, lift up halfway so that your fingertips are reaching forward. Nice long spine, legs are trembling and shaking, and then inhale, rise all the way back up. Your front leg is straight, your back leg is straight. Couple of breaths here, woo! Balance challenge for me. Breathe in. And on the exhale, warrior three, bend, launch off of that back leg. Send the fingertips behind you. Strengthening that standing leg for the last three breaths. And then slowly releasing the left foot down, coming all the way back up to standing. Oh, jello-y in that right leg. Shake it out a bit. And then bring your hands to your heart. Ground down again. Use open mouth exhales to steady the heart rate and the breath. And then staying rooted through that left leg, inhale that right knee in line with the right hip. You can stay here or take the left hand and reach around that right thigh. Working into a twist, send your right fingertips back and gaze behind you. Keep your right knee lifted, inhale, the palms overhead, facing center, and exhale, figure four, crisscross that right ankle over the left thigh, hands come to heart. Flex the right toes towards the shin, protecting the knee joint. Sink a little deeper for the last three or four breaths. Inhale, rise, one leg into Dasana. And exhale, release the right foot down. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale through your vinyasa, chaturanga, or straight to downward facing dog. Hips towards the sky. Weightless in the shoulders. And then we'll balance out. Inhale the left leg high. And exhale, low lunge. Step the left foot between the palms. 
bring that right foot in an inch or so and inhale, rise, warrior one. So you have a 45 degree angle in that back foot, train track or balance beam width of the legs. Bend into the left knee and then bring your hands on your hips as we settle into our foundation. Making sure that there's contact between the right heel and the earth. The ribs are not flaring because your navel's pulled, pulled towards the spine. And then sink into the left knee. Inhale, palms up. And exhale, find your warrior plane with the arms and the fingertips back, chest forward. Again, shifting the weight slightly forward allows us to strengthen the muscles on that left leg. Inhale, rise, torso up. And exhale, find your bind behind your sacrum. Preparing for humble warrior. Reestablish the bend in the left knee. Inhale, the heart open. And as you exhale, drop the left shoulder to the inside of the left thigh. Allow the palms to fall overhead. One more inhale here. And as you exhale, release the grip, straighten that front leg and make your way into pyramid pose. Shorten the stance if you need to an inch or so. And then make sure that right hip's pulled forward, that the tops of the glutes are level. Allow the forehead to come closer to the knee. Inhale, lift up halfway, keeping a micro bend in the front knee, reach the fingertips forward. Long spine for just one more inhale and one more exhale. Inhale, rise all the way. Both legs are straight. Pausing here for a few moments. Whew. Breathe in. And warrior three with airplane arms as you breathe out, launch off of that back leg and send the fingertips behind you. Inhale, rise. One legged Tadasana, right knee comes up. And exhale, standing at attention, palms by your sides. Keeping your right foot rooted this time, inhale the left knee in line with the left hip. You can stay here or take your right hand and reach around that left thigh, slowly making your way into a twist as you gaze behind you. Keep those left toes flexed towards the left shin. Inhale, come back to a neutral center. And exhale, figure four, left ankle crisscrosses over the right thigh, hands come to heart. A few moments of rest here in this half chair. Inhale, left knee comes back up one last time. And exhale, standing at attention, feet hips lift distance apart, palms by your sides. <clears throat> Close your eyes, come back to your breath. And then just notice the heart space, both the front and back sides of your heart cavity. And just notice, is the wall that's around your heart open or closed? Are you allowing thoughts, ideas, wisdom to penetrate you in your heart? Or are you closed off and protecting yourself 
but in reality, maybe harming yourself by being so guarded. In extremely vulnerable times, it's up to us to check in with our perspective, our privilege, our mentality, and just make sure that no matter where we stand, we are listening and open to new ideas flowing into us, new perspectives, new lifestyles. From here, gently blink your eyes open and inhale the palms overhead and exhale into your chair once again. Hands come to heart this time. Shift the weight into the heels. Breathe in and lengthen through the crown of your head. Get long from the sacrum all the way through the axis of the spine. And as you exhale, twist the shoulders to the right and then lower down so that your left elbow can hook to the outside of the right thigh. Prayer twist. Gazing over the right shoulder. Make sure the knees are both square and in line with one another. Maybe you release the grip of the palms and fly the wings. Left fingertips come down to the mat. Right fingertips reach up. Wherever you're at, inhale, come back to center. And exhale, forward fold. Give your legs a little break. Pedal out the thighs. And then bring the left fingertips underneath the nose. And inhale, open twist to the right. Bend into the left knee and straighten the right leg a lot. Gaze up at that right palm. And then rather than dumping down, see if you can extend fully through the left elbow so you get super long in the arms. Inhale, rise all the way to standing. Come through center, palms up. And exhale, chair with hands at heart center. Shift the weight into the heels. Get long through the spine for a breath. And then on your next exhale, you can take the arms and the elbows over to the left and then hook that right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Prayer twist. Gaze over the left shoulder. From here, fly the wings if you did so on the other side. Right fingertips down, left fingertips up. Take one more inhale and exhale forward fold. Fingertips down to the earth. Pedal out the heels. And then inhale, open twist to the left with the right fingertips underneath the nose. Straighten the left leg, bend into the right knee. Again, straighten that right elbow as much as you can to get extra lift. Breathe in and breathe out as you come down. Ragdoll pose. <sighs> Inhale, lift up halfway, palms into the shins. And exhale, come onto a high plank pose, shoulders over the wrists. Hips in line with the shoulders. Activate your core. We're here for 30 seconds. If you need to, you can come down to your knees, but see if you can last just 25 more seconds here. Feel the shake, feel the discomfort, and then allow your breath to get you through it. Just like we do in our lives, right? All parallels our yoga practice. Press the heels into an imaginary wall behind you for the last 12 seconds. Trembling and shaking means that we're changing, evolving, growing for the last four, three, two, and one. Gently come down to your knees. If you need to grab water or towel off, feel free to do so now. And then just close your eyes and sit in stillness for the next minute or so. Give yourself a little break, a little rest.
And then when you're ready, you can make your way back into downward facing dog, tucking the toes under, hips towards the sky. Inhale the right heel high and exhale low lunge, step the right foot between the palms. Inhale, rise warrior two. So your right knee is bent. You have heel to arch alignment in the legs. And then your shoulders are directly over your hips. So a lot of times we tend to get lazy in the core and then we start to lean. We wanna keep it nice and stacked and strong. Then use all the energy in your chest and your biceps and your triceps to get this nice straight line in the arms. Gaze over the front fingertips and settle in to your posture for five breaths. Inhale, reverse warrior with the legs staying as they are, right fingertips come up, left arm behind you, peaceful warrior. And exhale, extended side angle, reach the fingertips forward, bring the right arm to either rest on that right thigh or down to the earth. And then your left fingertips overhead. You can reach them directly up towards the sky or you can get this angle as you frame your left ear with your left bicep. Inhale, reverse warrior one more time. And then straighten that front leg, preparing for triangle trikonasana. Breathe in, exalt the heart here. And as you exhale, reach forward with a micro bend in your knee this time and exhale, triangle pose. Right arm comes down to either the shin or the earth. And then left fingertips towards the sky. And the pelvis slightly forward as you shift the weight into the heels. So you're staying balanced with this counteracting energy and super active throughout the entire body. Take one more inhale. And with the exhale, bring the left fingertips down and then frame your right foot as you shift onto the ball mount of the back foot. So you're coming into your low lunge. Inhale, rise, crescent lunge, full expression here. So without our knee down, you can always bring the knee down if you need to, but working on strength here, left hip forward, right hip back. Inhale, the palms up. We're gonna flow a few times here, breathing in through the fingertips and then exhale, reach the, the chest forward, airplane arms. Inhale, rise back up and exhale, airplane arms. Good, continue on your own for the next 10 rounds. Strengthening our cores and our hip flexors. Our back leg is super active for just five more. One more inhale and exhale, plant the palms, step back into a downward facing dog. Step to the sky. Take big open mouth exhales if you need. <laughs> then inhale that left leg high when you're ready. Exhale, step it through. Low lunge. Almost done, you guys. Be active stuff. You're rocking it. Inhale, rise, warrior two. Left knee is bent. Front heel aligns with the arch of the back foot. Try not to kill any bugs with my feet here. Lots of stuff crawling around. And then again, super strong line through the clavicle and the biceps and the triceps. So you get super straight arms and then sink a little deeper. Five full breaths as you gaze over the front fingertips.
Inhale, peaceful warrior. Keep the legs as they are and then reverse that left palm towards the sky, right arm behind your back. One more inhale as you reach up. And as you exhale, extended side angle. Reach towards the left fingertips and then bring the left elbow down or the left fingertips. And then right arm comes overhead. Three more breaths here, so strong. Inhale, reverse warrior, last time. Straightening that front leg for reverse triangle. Turn the stance an inch or so with the back foot. Breathe in, get long through the left side body and exhale, triangle trikodasana as you reach forward and bring the left fingertips down. Again, here for about six breaths. Shift the weight into the heels, send the pelvis forward. Gaze up at the thumb. One more big inhale. Exhale, forward fold as you re-bend into the left knee. Come high on the ball mount of the back foot. <clears throat> inhale rise crescent full expression right hip forward left hip back <clears throat> lengthening through the fingertips inhale exhale airplane arms chest forward good breathe in reach up and breathe out heart opens forward eight more on your own and then we'll start to slow it down so give it everything you've got for the last seven One more inhale and exhale, plant the palm, step back, downward facing dog. Again, big open mouth exhales are your release here. And then in your own time, you can come down to your knees. We're gonna come back to a seat. You guys are doing so good. Woo, sweating over here. You guys are rocking it. <sighs> All right. So we're going to start to slow it down, starting with the heart rate. So we're just going to come back into our diamond pose just to get the heart steady again. So soles of the feet to touch, maybe a foot and a half away from your pelvis. And then just let the head hang heavy. Let the spine round. And then use open mouth exhales to bring the heart rate down. <sighs> Take a uniting breath in together. And open mouth, exhale, tongue out, side out. One more just like that. Breathe in, fill up the body. <clears throat> And breathe out slow and steady. Let the torso rise back up and then make your way onto your spine. Lowering all the way down here. The soles of the feet into the earth. We're just gonna do bridge pose before we make our way into our spinal twist. The last little bit of heart opening. Bring the heels towards the fingertips, your knees, your thighs, about hips width distance apart. And then with the four corners of the feet nice and rooted, inhale the pelvis up towards the sky. You can stay here or shimmy the shoulders underneath your chest and take one last heart opener as you interlace the fingers beneath the sacrum. I promise it's our last finger bind here. No more Chinese handcuffs after this. Lift the pelvis up, breathe in, and as you breathe out, lower one vertebrae at a time, and then pull the knees into the chest. 
Drop both knees over to the left. Extend the arms out wide like a T and close your eyes as you gaze right. And then if you're holding or resisting in any pocket of the body, allow yourself to let go, surrender, and melt. Getting nice and heavy into the earth. In your own time, you can switch sides, coming through center and then dropping the knees over to the right, gazing to the left. Inhale, rise, knees come into the chest. Give yourself a big hug, curl it into a tight little ball, and then as you exhale, take your Shavasana, taking up lots of space, and just allowing yourself to feel whatever comes up. Begin to take some fuller breaths into the belly, to the lungs. Wiggling the fingers and the toes. 
Maybe moving the neck from side to side. And then as you inhale, take a good morning stretch with the fingertips overhead, the toes pointing forward. And as you exhale, find fetal position on whatever side is calling to you, resting your ear on your bicep, knees pulled into the chest. With your eyes closed, gently make your way up into a comfortable seat for just another two minutes of meditation, sitting in silence and honoring our intention. Whatever form of love and kindness is most authentic to you, I invite that to be your intention for the next two minutes and the final two minutes of our practice. Slowly bring your hands to your heart center. May all beings be happy. May all beings be free. Namaste. Thank you both for joining.